Morning guys, welcome back to Lee and Toon's channel and today is the start of Project Wormery i.e. Vermicomposter so all this is coming out all this bamboo here and underneath it is going to get all balanced so there's a lot of chicken muck and straw and rice skin there that's all going to come out that's going to get spread around the banana trees and then we're going to make a block tank and have a pipe coming out of there so we can put a bucket underneath it all the chicken poo will then fall into the tank drawer in the evening when the birds are roosting we're going to populate the tank with a load of worms uh, and then you get some compost good compost worm castings uh, but most importantly is the worm pee. So every now and again you wet it, that'll wash everything down, plus the worm pee. Come out of the pipe, bottle it, and you can sell it if it's a very good vintage, up to 50 baht for two litres or a litre and a half. So, um, we probably won't be selling much of it. We'll be using it ourselves on, on of all the stuff that we're growing. Right, enough blah -de blah let's crack on. We've cleared out all the poop, balanced it off a little bit, uh, and we've seemed to have unearthed these little buggers I'm working with red ants. Not very pleasant. Now, I know we don't normally use chemicals, but I'm going to give them one of these and uh, kill as many as possible. And a lot of people say, oh, there's no point, there's too many, you'll never win. Well, I'm just about to kill about 5 million in about 5 seconds. So that'll be 5 million ants that aren't biting my feet. Right, I need to kick the chickens out and then give them a spray. Right, so the odds are tipped back in my favour. They're all deed, as the Scots say. Here's my lovely assistant doing the donkey work, mixing up the mortar for me. Chill, chill. You ever wondered where Toon got her colourful language from? Through several years working in the building trade when she was younger. Now some of you might be surprised to learn that I'm not an experienced brickie, but I did work in the brickyards for about six months when I first left school. So I have seen blocks before. Uh, can't be that hard, can it? Um, and I've got hold of this bubble thingy and that. Apparently they're all the rage with people who do block work. I'll give it a go. I am very good with straight lines. So uh, expect precision block work. Probably about as precise as a 58 year old German Audi technician. So... Wurstbrunduk technique, as they say in Kampang Pet. Okay, let's get on it. It's the morning after the day before, and uh, let's go and check the progress out on the vermiculture wormery. Here we go then. So, not bad. For a bloke that spent about 17 years in graphic reproduction sat behind an apple mat and about 10 years being an instructor, I think my block work is all right. So, the only thing left to do now is put a slope in... Chill yourself, Barry. Ah, guy Ban's gone in the Barry house. 
that's not clever. Right, got to put a sloping floor in there. At the moment we're just throwing a load of old builder materials left over and rocks and broken blocks in there. Then we're going to sand and concrete it and put the sloping floor heading towards that dr blue drain pipe. Then every now and again you just wash your bamboo down and then a mixture of that gunk from underneath and the chicken poop and the worm pee drain out of there and that will drain to outside into a bottle and then we can mix it with water and use it as fertiliser. Uh, the only thing is that some of the chickens seem to be intent on sitting on the block work and crapping on the outside. So we'll have to try and rectify that somehow. But I did check in here this morning before I started putting all block work in there and there was plenty of the chicken crap in there. So it is working. So I'm going to carry on putting some more ballast in there. Uh, Toon's out and about at the moment. She's a bit off colour today, so I don't know whether I've got my concrete mixer helping me out or not. Right then, let's get busy. What are you doing up there, Bitty? Get laying your eggs. There's no straw up there, is there? Look at her. She's a beauty. Not a feather out of place. Not too skinny. I really do like the guy bands. Let's try and get a close up of her. Mountain turkey boys having a sleep. Sleeping on the job. Turkey boy, what are you doing? Eh? Look at his beak. That is proper, proper sharp. Right, boy. Pull up. Pull up.